Well guys, the time has come. I've officially updated my website. As you can see, it looks a lot more simple. And I've also added some new shirts. As you can see, they're epic. They're also on sale. The Liberal Tears mugs and everything, the original is still on there. And I actually have something very special to show you guys. I have one in real life. So here it is. This is what it looks like. As you can see, it's printed extremely high quality. And um, what I didn't know is that I actually have it on both sides. So if you're right-handed or left-handed, uh, you'll be able to see a little tears mug from either side. And don't forget, you can also order it without the smiley face if you don't like that. Uh, but it's actually the most popular one, which is pretty funny. So here you go. Here it is. Check out the new website. You can read the description if you want. Check it out. Thank you, guys. Let's get into the video. See you later. Um, I'm from one of those peasant cultures to which you so eloquently um, refer to. had PhDs, so thank you for, you know, putting me in that category as well as most of the people in this room. Thank you very much. Um, my question to you is, what, what, when you say just drop nukes and daisy cutters and all this bullshit on people, people who live, people who are on this planet, human beings, what makes you di different, what differentiates you from ISIS and Daesh and Wahhabis and all this The question is whether it's worth going to war. I happen to think it is, but it's going to be a long conversation. The point is, apparently you do come from a peasant culture if you are here. That doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> I think you call me brown. I came from Turkey. No. So I, why aren't you there? Because I you, love you, this country. You come to this country. I love this country. That doesn't mean I hate my former country. That means I love this country. So so you know why? Because it isn't a Christian nation. It isn't a nation just for white people. Because I believe in the first amendment. Because I believe in the first amendment. I love you. by white people and the only way to any other place. 
and we'll all be living in Afghanistan, and who's going to suffer the most? The poor, the weak, women, children, plants, animals, and, and any victims of earthquakes, tsunamis, or Nazis without America out there. You just have a whole globe of Afghanistan. There's no point in moving. down the street I guess I have no idea where we're at in Portland at this point but I see a ton of InfoWars shirts and uh, looks like free speech was not shut down today Yeah. What's that? Yeah, well, wherever we stop, we should do that, definitely. We need, we need a couple big pictures and we tweet, tweet them fuckers out. What do, you th what do you think of these kids that get triggered? Um, I don't have much sympathy for them at all. I, we've been fighting since the day one of this country to have freedom of speech and to have this sensitivity is really nonsense. And I'm particularly perturbed at women who want a double standard. For example, Michelle Fields, she has lost all credibility. Yeah. And I, for one, am one woman who definitely supports Donald Trump, so mainstream media, you say women don't support him or he has a problem with women, well, you're totally off base. There you go. All right. Thanks a lot. What's your name? Melissa. All right. Do you live here in Portland? I live uh, south of Portland. I came up here to support uh, these young students, and knowing that you guys are going to be here, it encouraged me to come up here and support the cause. All right. Thank you. Thanks for listening. Spread the word. Spread the word about the show. Thanks. Let's go to the car. Let's go to the park over here. Okay. All right. All right, guys. We're gonna go over here. Yeah, man. And we're gonna make your morning in Courthouse Square great again. <laughs> we are now at Pioneer Courthouse Square. Anybody watching this on uh, Facebook mentions and wants to come out now? See if the uh... luckily I took my pollen burst this morning because I needed the energy. What's up? Chilling. I'm chilling. Yeah. What's the production? How am I not going to want to? <laughs> exactly. This is quite a quite a production going hey, on at today. Least, at least you live in this interesting time. Exactly. Is it, for real? it is definitely for real. Do you see it with your eyes? Yeah. It is for real. Yeah. What do you think about it? Well, I know there are a lot of idiots, but... Yeah? <laughs> Why do you think they're idiots? Huh? Why do you think they're idiots? 
Why do you think they're idiots? They're irresponsible to begin one. To why? Because they don't think. Okay. Tell me more. All what right. does that mean? They don't, they don't know who they're for. Okay. They don't look into his background, where he's from, and what he... And I, they worry me because they're, most of them are young. Yeah. Well, you look at the presidential candidates who are left. We got five, right? Yeah. Okay. We got Hillary Clinton, who's a criminal. She's oh, destroyed she countries. Oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. You didn't know that? Now. They're gonna, don't worry. It'll come out soon. Oh, it'll come out. for the banking cartel. Yeah. They have compromised both sides. And now we're fighting for our very freedom at this point just to not become indentured servants in their neo-feudal society. Right. So right now... I heard that somewhere in the 1960s when I was a graduate been, student. It's been happening <laughs> literally for the past 200 years. There is a plot afoot. There's an orchestrated event attempting to enslave us right here, right That's now. Been going on since the beginning of time. So has killing, and I'm not for that. So right now, we can address this problem by voicing our opinion before it's too late. They're closing in on us. Exactly. We must do something now. We are. Okay, we'll later, brother. Have a good one. All right. Oh, I'll well, come over here. here. I'm yeah. just coming over here. For the, sure. It looks like it's getting... Uh, Amphitheater. The amphitheater is filled with people. Pro Trump supporters are here. And a small contingent of the siren dwellers. Look at that. Yeah. Mute them. Get a shot of your sign, brother. Oh, yeah, that's the, uh, the... Yeah, that's the woman who said that she could speak to him. That's what it up, huh? All right. Yeah, there you go. Fed up. We came from Washington State because the Wars was here. All right, thanks a lot. Literally, this is what they've resorted to. Absolutely no concepts, no talking points, nothing. It's just a siren. All right, I'm back. Oh, Woo! hey, right. hey, hold on, that's our friend. Oh, yeah. Like a hey, you're famous on YouTube. You want to talk to us? So you work for the university, right? No, I don't. I'm a student. That was a lie. All right, they finally caught up. Your drumsticks are almost done. Oh, yeah. You're not going to blow up this mic. Anything else you want to say? I'm black and I'm fucking proud! You should be proud that you're black. You should be. No one's telling you not to be proud. Oh, I'm white and I'm Nobody's telling you not to be proud. <laughs> triggering! Hashtag triggering. Articulate? Robots. Can you guys not articulate? 
If you have a difference in opinion, be all articulate. All this is, is provocation. It's all it's hate. It's not provocation. You're the one who's provocating. You're leading a racist mob. You're, you guys are, we're You're not racist. You're leading how a are racist, racist mob that has made death threats against the organizers that are here. Give me one example of how we're racist and I'll leave. There are countless Twitter messages. Give, Look on no, no. I say give on me one account how Trump and Trump your are bullshit. racist. Tell, give, me, give me an example how like, Trump is racist. Give this me one example. De facto provocative de violence de facto. going so on in every Just because his name is Trump, he's automatically racist. What about those two guys who beat up that homeless dude and pissed on him? I don't I have no I have no knowledge. All right, well then maybe you should learn a so, little bit more about your so name. So I look at so so because there's Trump supporters are automatically racist. Oh, uh, yeah, and they, and they do racist. So, <laughs> I'm just stopping by to remind you that liberals are insane! <laughs> Social justice warriors are becoming more violent and triggered than ever before! Anyways, be sure to subscribe to KGP TV on YouTube and have a blessed day! Yeah, man!